guys, my name is Sierra Cooley and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, I post beauty and lifestyle content every Wednesday and Sunday, so I definitely hope to see you there from now on. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. So today's video is going to be a 0 to 100 full glam makeup tutorial. You're going to see me barefaced with nothing to this glam look right here. We kind of just go through the motions. I really just wanted to sit down and do some makeup with you guys. I feel like I haven't just sat down and done a really fun full glam look in a while. I haven't really had a reason to. So that's what we do today. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look right here and just kind of chill, sit down, do some makeup with me and drink some wine, then grab your glass and just keep watching. What am I doing with my hand? All right guys, so today we are doing full Glam, and by full glam, I mean cut crease, glitter, color, full face, the whole nine yards. So I'm very excited. I haven't done anything like super full glam in a really long time. Today I'm actually pulling some inspiration from one of my Instagram followers and someone that I follow as well. Um, I will be sure to put her information right here, but her Instagram hashtag is inspired to create underscore and she posted this really beautiful pink cut crease with glitter and the whole deal. Unfortunately, I don't have a cute pink wig to match, but I saw this look the other day and it really just inspired me to go all out. I don't know about you guys, but the weather where I live has just been really gloomy and gross and depressing lately. So I kind of wanted to just spice things up a little bit and put myself in a better mood and usually color in full glam does that for me. So with that being said, today's video isn't going to be very structured or focused on anything specific. We're just going to play around with makeup and have some fun. So let's get started. I'm just, <laughs> I didn't even realize this, but a lot of the products that I am using today are pink, which fits perfectly with our theme. So I'm going to start off today by applying some of this grapefruit and lemon hand sanitizer spray. I just got this from Trader Joe's today and I'm like obsessed with it. It's so easy to use and it smells amazing. Next, I'm just going to exfoliate my lips a little bit with this Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Watermelon Gum. This is one of my favorite lip scrubs ever. Um, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with watermelon, anything, and this smells and tastes just like watermelon gum. I'm obsessed with this. So now that our lips are nice and exfoliated, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I believe this is in the flavor Berry. It's just like the original one. All right guys, today I'm going to start out on the eyes. Whenever I do a super dramatic makeup look, I like to start out with the eyes to ensure that there's no fallout on my face, especially when I'm using loose glitter or anything like that loose glitter, bright colors. I always start with the eyes. As you can see, I do already have my eyebrows done just to save us some time. So I'm just gonna go right in with my P. Louise Rumor 2 base. And I'm just gonna take that on this flat mini paddle brush from Vanity Planet and just pat that all over the eyes to create a nice clean set. Now for the fun part, I'm just going to start to add a little bit of color to the eyes. So I'm actually going to dip into my P. Louise Basic Brights. These are colored versions of the P. Louise eyeshadow base that I use all the time. I think I'm going to start out with the P. Louise Poppin' Pink base and then just kind of go from there. I might add a little bit of this um, Rude Boy Red is the name of this shade uh, just to deepen it up. But we'll see. I'm just kind of winging it and we'll see where it ends up. So I'm just mentally preparing myself because this pink base right here is 1000% going to stain my eyes and my hand where I just put it so awesome we're already staining 
Rather than just going directly in on the eye and leaving no room for mistake, I just applied it to the back of my hand and I'm going to be using my Sigma E25 little blending brush to pick that up and then apply it to the eye gradually. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with more of a round shape again today rather than winging it out. So I'm just kind of keeping this color with the shape of my eye. And then I'm gonna pick up my Morphe M433 and just very lightly tap and buff out. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can follow along with what I'm doing. So applying this pink base ahead of time is really just gonna make that pink eyeshadow pop and blend a lot easier when we put it on the eye. <coughs> oh my God, I just got my brush cleaner right in my throat. Um, okay. Good thing I'm cleaning my brushes tonight because these are all gonna be hot pink. I just almost dropped everything on my desk. All right, so in order to further blend those hot pink edges out, I'm just gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina palette, and I'm gonna just dip into this bubblegum pink shade. It's called Supreme, and I'm just gonna use that to very lightly dust on the edges, and as I said, just to further blend those out a little bit. I'm just, I'm just gonna take that again on my same Morphe M433 brush. I'm liking the way this is looking so far, so I'm just gonna take some more of my P. Louise uh, Rumor 2 base, which is like the flesh colored one, and just cut my crease, but I'm only going to cut it halfway right to the arch of my brow, and then we're just gonna blend that edge out. And to be honest, I wish I had a bigger brush to do this with, but at the moment, this is like my most flat, dense little brush. It works really well for cutting your crease, but it just takes a little bit longer because it's very small, but the key to cutting your crease, I won't get too into it because this video isn't about teaching you how to do a cut crease, but I've learned that the way that my cut crease looks the best is if I go in and pat on the product rather than rubbing it. If you rub it, it's still gonna create a cut crease, but it's gonna be a little bit more diffused. If you go in and pat it, that's how you're gonna get that sharp, defined line. So see how I'm just going in and patting that base where I want it rather than rubbing it around? I will kind of rub it and blend it when I get down here, but when we're focusing on that defined crease, I'm going to take the shape of the brush and just match it up with the shape of my crease and pat, pat, pat. So once we get to the end over here, I'm just gonna start to pat that out with my finger. So when I go to blend eyeshadow on top of it, it's not clumpy or uneven. I'm just gonna take whatever leftover product is on my brush and just gently blend out those edges so we don't have any harsh lines. All right, so we have a nice little half cut crease on both eyes. So this is where I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker pink and just deepen the outer corner and blend the cut crease into the shadow that we had earlier. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this pink shade in the Zulu Juvia's Place palette and I'm gonna be using my Morphe M514. This will also just add a little bit of dimension and depth to the eye. So once again, I'm just going to take a blending brush with no product on it. This is our Morphe M504 and really just buff and smooth out those edges. All right, so now is where it gets fun. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of glitter. I think today I really wanna go in with the shade Zam right here. In the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette, I am obsessed 
obsessed with this shade. It does have a decent amount of fallout, so I'm glad we didn't do our face makeup, but this shade is so beautiful and metallic, especially if you add a little spritz of like a setting spray or a mist to it. You'll see what I mean. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply that shade in the inner corner and then to that halfway mark. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of another shade and blend the glitter and our hot pink together. So I'm just gonna start by taking some of that shade Zam on my finger. This is how, in my opinion, glitter pigment like this applies the best. So I'm just gonna take that and press it onto the eye. And then I'm gonna go back in with that little tiny flat paddle brush from Vanity Planet and spritz that with a little bit of my hydrating mist. And this will really just allow us to get very precise with that shimmer shade. All right, so I left a tiny bit of that inner corner blank because I'm gonna take this shade Soleil in the Jackie Ina palette. It's right here and it's just a really pretty, nice kind of champagne shimmery shade. And I'm just going to take that on the inner corner to open up and brighten the eyes. All right, now to blend and mesh everything together, I'm gonna take this shade Edges, again, in the Jackie Ina palette. It's just like a really pretty burnt orange. And we're gonna use that to blend the glitter and the pink together. And then lastly, I'm just going to one more time dip back into the hot pink shade in the Juvia's Place palette and blend everything. So our gold glitter shade kind of got everywhere, but it's okay because I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish off this eyeshadow look by applying some of the same shade that we applied on the inner corner up on our brow bone. I'm loving the way this is looking so far, so I'm just going to apply some black winged liner and some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. We're back. So I just finished up the eyes. I decided to go a little bit wild and add some white eyeliner in my crease. And then I just added some black winged liner in these lashes. I'm actually not sure what the name of these lashes are. I'm almost positive they're Lily Lashes, but I'm gonna find the style name and I will be sure to list that down below in the description box for you guys. So yeah, these are the eyes all complete and now let's move on to the face. Since we're doing full glam on the face today, we're gonna want to lay down a nice base. So I'm gonna start by spraying my Pixie Vitamin Wake Up Mist all over my face. That doesn't taste as good as it smells. And then I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer and just applying that all over the face and finishing off with the primers with my e.l.f. Poreless Primer in the center on my T-zone. Do you guys like red or white for wine? I used to be very into white wine, but now recently I'm kind of switching over to red. I go back and forth, but I'm on a red wine kick. So what do you guys prefer? Do you even like wine? I didn't for a while. We're primed and ready to go for foundation. So today I'm just gonna be mixing two of my favorites. And we're gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 204 and my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation in R230. And I'm just gonna be blending that in today with my Wet n Wild Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And 
then I'm just gonna go ahead and spot conceal with my elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium sand All right, and then I'm just gonna take that same e.l.f. concealer in the shade Medium Sand and conceal the rest of our face. And then I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of my L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Ivory and just brighten up everywhere where I just concealed. Next, we're gonna cream contour, one of my favorite parts. Today, I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Medium and my Alamar Brightening Brush and sculpt out those cheeks, which I do not have because my face is literally a circle. We're gonna bring that up around the hairline and on the sides of the nose as well. Cream contouring is an arm workout. Also going to take a little bit of that on the chin and the jawline. And I'm just going to take a small amount of that on my Morphe M504 and bronze up the nose a little bit. Last but not least, I'm going to contour a little bit around my mouth as well because this is full glam, so why not? take some of my Glossier Cloud Paint, of course, in the shade Puff, and my Iconic London Illuminator. I think this is just the original shade. It doesn't have a shade name on it. So I'm just going to apply those to the cheeks and the highest points of my cheekbone and down my nose as well. I wanna go for a very pink look on the cheeks today to match the eyes. Does anyone else get like a crazy amount of satisfaction from liquid highlighter? No, just me. So I'm just gonna take a small, a very small amount of that on my ring finger and blend that out on the highest points of the cheeks just because this stuff is so bright. It's crazy. All right, with all of our cream products on, I am going to go ahead and bake today with my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder, just because we are doing zero to 100 full glam. So why not? I'm just taking a good amount of that powder on my damp sponge. And we're gonna press that under the eyes. And then with the excess powder that's on the rest of the sponge, I'm just gonna take that and set the rest of my face. All right, so while we're baking away in the oven, I'm just gonna take my Tarte Park Ave Princess Contour and Highlight Palette, and I'm gonna use this to further define my contour and set that cream product. And today I'm gonna be using my Morphe M530. All right, we are bronzed to the gods. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some of my Cody Airspun powder on the back of my damp sponge, the flat side, and I'm just going to further 
define and cut out where I put that contour. So I'm just gonna take and run some of this from my ear to the corner of my mouth. All right, so I'm gonna head and dust away so I'm gonna go ahead and dust away that bake that we had under the eyes, and I'm just using my Eco Tools brush for this. Any fluffy brush will work. I'm gonna leave that bake under our contour for a little bit longer and just go ahead and apply some blush. Today I'm gonna be using this Steve Laurent blush, and this is in the shade Rosé All Day. I love that name for a blush, I think that's so cute. And it's just a really pretty baby pink color, so I figured this would go nicely with the eyes. And I'm just gonna be taking that on my Real Techniques blush brush. And we're gonna kinda go ham with the blush today. <laughs> The cheeks are nice and rosy. I'm just going to dust away that bake that we had under the contour. All right, so I kind of want to stick with our pink theme today. So for highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the sugar one. And I'm going to be dipping into this highlighter right down here. It has a really pretty pink hue. And I feel like that'll look nice with our blush and the eyes that we have going on today. I'll be taking that on this little highlighting brush right here. I'm not sure the brand on this. It's SG62 is the name of the brush. It looks like S L M I S S Glam. Slimmis Glam. <laughs> I have no clue if that's right, but I'm just gonna use that to dip into this highlighting shade and we're gonna place that everywhere that we placed our cream highlighter. Shining, shining, shining. Why am I throwing literally everything today? All right guys, so I think that's it for the face. I think. <laughs> so I'm just going to spritz a little bit of my Pixie Hydrating Mist. And by a little bit, I meant a lot. <laughs> So I'm kind of going back and forth. I can't decide if I want to do like a bright baby pink lip or if I want to keep it nude and neutral. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to play it safe and go with the nude because we went so bright on the eyes. So I'm going to be using my 03 color statement lip liner from Milani. This one is a little bit more pinky toned than the 04 which I always use. I'm gonna be topping that off with the Maybelline lipstick in 755 Nude Drill. Just a really pretty, super nude shade. I'm gonna be putting that right in the middle of my lips and then blending that back out with the lip liner. So I think I'm gonna keep my lip matte today, which is so different for me. I usually always put on a gloss because I hate the feeling of matte lips, but these Maybelline lipsticks are actually really comfortable and nice to wear, so I don't mind wearing them on their own. All right, guys, I wish you could see my makeup desk right now because it's literally a disaster that always happens after I do a full face makeup. All right, so I just finished off the face by doing some bottom mascara and I think we're done. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this full glam hot pink moment. If you do like makeup tutorials like this, then please let me know down in the comments, and I would love to do more. Maybe we can even do 
like a little color series where we do different looks with different colors that sounds fun but with that all being said if you did like today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up I really really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot also if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you can be notified every time I post a new video all right guys that's it for today's video and I'll see you Wednesday